Hi everyone! This video will be about financial model of real estate construction company. If it's useful, please give us a like, subscribe our channel, push the bell button and leave us a comment. Also, you can order financial business models from scratch or download this model. The link to download is below this video. If you have a business idea of starting your own real estate construction company, this simple financial model can help you to evaluate the amount of money you need to start this business. Besides, you will be also able to see the profit, payback period of your investment and profitability of your future operating activity. Of course, it will be very interesting for you to know how stable your business idea is if something happens with revenue and expenses. So now let's go through the model and I will show you what items you should pay attention to if you want to run this business. In our model, all inputs are colored in blue. Other sales are automatic. First of all, we enter the year when all our financial projections start. Then, we name all types of houses which we can build. For example, one bedroom house, two bedroom house, and so on. When this is done, we set the selling price for each type of house. Then, we specify the amount of square feet or square meters in each type of house. Then we move to the next block of inputs investment plan for each type of house. From left to the right we have months of construction period of each type of house. We say that we will build this type of house maximum in 12 months. It's an investment stage of each type of house. From top to the bottom we have investment items during construction stage. Basement, roof, windows and so on. Here we specify when we invest money, how much we invest and what we invest in during construction of each type of house. Then we specify investment plans for other seven types of houses. Then we have to create an algorithm describing how our customers will pay us. And here it is. From top to the bottom we have your types of houses. From left to the right we have 18 months since start of construction period of each type of house. Here we specify the percentage of payments from the customer during 18 months period since construction starts. For example, our customer will pay us 30% of price on the first month when construction starts. On the fifth month of construction period, he will pay us 15% of price, and so on. At the end of 18 months period, we must get 100% of payments from our customer. If we have a mistake and don't have 100% of payments from our customer at the end of this period, this financial model will give us a sign. Then we move to the project management block. Here we mention the timeline of construction of your houses. We have a possibility to build 100 houses in your project. In the first column we set the type of the house we are going to build. Then we have a switch on and switch off button. This button gives us a quick opportunity to create lots of scenarios by including and excluding revenue and expenses of this house from this financial model.
Then we specify month and year when we start construction work for every house. Then we move to one of the main blocks of inputs, investment plan of objects of infrastructure. This can be water, gas, electricity supply, canalization, road building for all your houses, and so on. Green column is the moment when we start constructing the first house. This column is automatic. Go into the past from this moment we can specify what items we invest in, how much we invest in, and when we invest in. Then we have a payroll table where we mention salaries, positions, and the amount of people on each position during the period we construct and sell the houses. Your construction company may also have some fixed costs during the period of constructing and selling houses. These costs can be specified here. Here we have an additional investment plan where you can specify what items you are going to invest in, what is the price of one item, how many items you buy and when you buy this or that item, month and year. We also have a depreciation for the item. We can set the depreciation status and enter the period of depreciation in months. The next block of inputs deals with taxes. You can set the tax rates and move to the cash flow statement where you will see the results of financial modeling. Cash flow is the main statement where you see financial efficiency of your business idea. What valuable information can you get from this table? First, you can see the total revenue, direct and fixed costs, payroll and taxes. Second, you can see your monthly profit and cumulative cash balance. Third, one of the main things you'll see from cash flow is total amount of money you need to start the business. If you see that total financing is bigger than amount of money you have, you can add loan parameters. Amount of loan, month and year you get it, a loan term in month, interest rate and grace period for interest and body payment of the loan. After cash flow statement, we can see lines with profit and profitability. Then you can set a discount rate and look at the final financial efficiency parameters of your construction company. Now we can see the graphic illustration of your business idea. Here we see in monthly detail simple and discounted payback period, loan coverage ratio, revenue and total expenses, profit, profitability, cash balance, cumulative profit, operation profit and loan payment. Then we have the same information done yearly. On the next Excel sheet we have gathered yearly consolidated cash flow statement, profit loss statement and main financial results of your construction company. Finally, we see the financial efficiency of your construction real estate business idea. Is this model stable? What will happen to your business if revenue decreases or expenses rise? Now it's time to apply sensitivity analysis. Further, we have several Excel sheets where we test financial efficiency. We test the influence of such parameters as revenue, fixed and direct costs, payroll, investment, interest rate and loan amount. How does it work? For example, let's go to the revenue sensitivity test. Here we set the pace of increasing or decreasing the revenue. Then we push sense button and see when our financial efficiency will go negative. Now we see how stable your real estate construction business model is. 
Plus, it's a great moment to rethink your business strategy in time before you start investment your money in business. Maybe it's a good time to return back to inputs and create new scenario which is more financially strong. The same story goes with all other blocks of sensitivity analysis. So this was real estate construction financial business model. The link to download it is below this video. If this video was useful to you, please give us a like, share it with your friends, subscribe our channel, push the bell button or leave us a comment. Also, you can ask us to prepare an individual financial model. Let's test your business idea. Stay tuned and bye-bye!